When Ibrahim was about to be thrown into the fire, he said, Hasbunallahu wa ni'mal wakil. This is the dua of Ibrahim. And this was also the dua of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu when he was surrounded by the Ahzab. When all of the armies had gathered, this was the dua that came to the tongue of our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Why is this dua so powerful? The phrase Hasbi Allah means Allah is sufficient for me. I don't need anybody else. Hasbi Allah. I only need Allah. I don't need anyone else. Wa ni'mal wakil. Wakil here means not just protector, but someone whom I delegate my affairs to. Someone who will take charge of what I need to be done. Hasbi Allah. I only need Allah. Wa ni'mal wakil. And what a beautiful protector and wakil he is. What does this dua mean? Why is it so powerful? When you say Hasbi Allah, you can only say Hasbi Allah when you know who is Allah. And then you put your trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. A heart that doesn't have Iman cannot say Hasbi Allah. When you say Hasbi Allah, you are affirming the power of Allah, the love of Allah, the fact that Allah knows who you are, what you're doing, how much you need Him. When you say Hasbi Allah, you are saying, Oh Allah, I recognize that when you decide to do something, nobody can come between you and your will. There is no strength, there is no power other than you. When you say Hasbi Allah, you say, I don't care who is against me. If Allah is on my side, that's all that I need. Imagine the heart of Ibrahim alayhi salam. Imagine, surrounded by a city, an army, the mightiest king alive is in front of him, threatening him, torturing him. He's a 15 year old kid. There's that fire that's been put for three days and three nights. Not a single human being in the world, his own father is on the side of the prosecution. Just imagine, not a single soul in the world to help him. Yet what does he know? Allah will protect me. Hasbi Allah. Oh Allah, I turn to you. You will deal with this fire. You will take charge of this whole world that has gathered against me. Hasbi Allah. I only need Allah. I don't need anybody else. So what happens when Ibrahim is thrown into that fire? The fire itself becomes a garden for him. A garden, a pleasant walk in the park. It becomes beautiful, fragrant, green, cool. This is what happens when you put your trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When you say Hasbi Allah, you affirm the power of Allah and you affirm, Oh Allah, I believe in your power. I believe in your might. I believe that you are the one who is Rahman and Rahim and Sami and Alim and Quddus and Malik. Oh Allah, you are the real Malik. So when you say Hasbi Allah, you can only say it when it's coming from the depths of your heart. When you understand who is Allah and you believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah tells us in the Quran, وَمَن يَتَوَكَّلْ عَلَى اللَّهِ فَهُوَ حَسْبُهُ Whoever truly trusts in Allah, Allah will take care of him. Allah Azza wa Jal is enough for him. Allah says in the Quran, وَمَن يَتَّقِ اللَّهَ يَجْعَلْ لَهُ مَخْرَجًا وَيَرْزُقُ مِنْ حَيْثُ لَا يَحْتَسِبْ Whoever truly trusts in Allah, Allah Azza wa Jal will make an escape route for him, will make a passage of exit for him, and Allah will provide for him in a manner that he did not expect. كفى شرفا إذا جمع البرايا وقيل له اقر وارتق بازدياد فما لبست ملوك الأرض تاجا كتاج الحفظ في يوم المعاد